the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Perceva, says the federal government is working with relevant industry players to reduce the unit production cost of crude oil from $30 per barrel to $10 per barrel. He made the disclosure during the launch of the Nigerian Upstream Cost Optimization Program in Abuja today. Celestina area was there. The oil and gas industry was greatly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. This has resulted in a period of low energy pricing, low demand, deferred projects, and low revenue generation, which has altered how oil is produced. It has also resulted in a rise in cost of petroleum products and joined by citizens, particularly premium motor spirit. With the government's decision to remove subsidy and leave its cost into market forces, price of fuel has been on a steady rise. It has pushed labor to a coalition cost with government, which had only be advanced when government agreed to keep the price of fuel steady and affordable to citizens. To address this, it is important to know the element of cost structure, such as the exploration costs, drilling costs, production costs, transportation, and other ancillary services attached to the aforementioned categories. The this has informed the launch of an Nigerian upstream cost optimization program to help reduce the unit operating cost of crude oil. Currently, the current average total cost of crude oil per barrel is below $30 for the joint ventures agreement and below $20 per barrel for the production sharing contracts. Achieving cost reduction will be enhanced by delivering the growth aspiration of 40 billion barrel of oil reserves and 30 billion barrel per day product. We are working assiduously to address other structural, fiscal and governance issues in the industry, including domestic utilization of produced oil to obviate export restrictions. Operating cost has gone down substantially since the start of the, the agenda that you asked us to, to deliver. And our target is to come to a unit operating cost of at a maximum of $10 to the barrel. And this is possible. This is within sight. Dynamic GMD of NNPC issued a directive that unit operating cost called UOC should be reduced to sub-optimal of $10 per barrel. Listening to the GMD, the CEO of Stream, as well as the minister, I think uh, there is a general consensus by each and every one of us that there is a need to take a second look at our upstream cost structure. The Petroleum and National Gas Workers Senior Staff Association, on its part, want the real cost drivers to be addressed, where efforts have been made to achieve cost optimization. In particular, it wants the welfare of oil and gas workers to be put into consideration. Gas business is so competitive. If you underpay Nigerian workers, they will find jobs in Middle East. There are areas to look at in terms of cost reduction initiatives, but personal costs for us should not be part of it. The upstream cost optimization program will address capital expenditure operational cost, systematic cost, costs associated with policy procedures. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.